So now we're going to send it back over to TAF to tell us what's happening again right now. I know there's some watches and warnings still in effect. Yeah, across the entire area, we still have that flash flood watch in effect until tomorrow morning, so we're not quite finished with the rainfall. More rain, more thunderstorms ahead as we move on through the afternoon and possibly even into the evening hours. Take a look at all of these flash flood warnings, all these counties that are shaded in this dark red and this maroon. Flash flood warnings through the early to mid-afternoon hours, various times, anywhere from about 2 p.m. to as much as 5 p.m. is where we're seeing some of these flash flood warnings. It includes many locations of east central Oklahoma, generally from Tulsa down to McAllister and anywhere from east of Shawnee all the way over to the Arkansas border. That's where we're seeing these flooding problems. We have the tornado watch in effect. You can barely see it. It's in the yellow shading. It includes areas generally east of Tulsa, extreme eastern Oklahoma, and western Arkansas. That runs until 4 o'clock. And there's our severe thunderstorm warning still for east central and parts of southeast Oklahoma. It does include areas around Salisaw, extending down to Poto over in the Fort Smith area. That is a strong line of thunderstorms that will move out of the state here within about the next 45 minutes or so. As we take a look across the area, here's a look at radar for you. And we're still seeing some heavy rainfall, not severe at this time, running through areas of Nawada County into Craig County. That extends back to the south and east right around Pryor and then further to the south and east now just to the east of Wagner we're seeing some heavy amounts of rain. This is not severe through Tahlequah but some moderate to heavy rainfall, a lot of lightning out there, some gusty winds. But as you move toward Interstate 40 that's where we have that severe thunderstorm morning. In fact right around and just north of I-40 just north of the Salisaw area in north central and northeastern Sequoia County all the way down through LaFleur County. That's where we have a severe thunderstorm morning. It's in advance of this line where we're seeing a strong line of thunderstorms and it continues to push off to the east at about 55 miles per hour. So quickly moving and it'll move over into Arkansas here within about the next half an hour or so. Poto, well, it's just to your west, two minutes out. You notice Pecola 10 minutes away. Fort Smith only 13 minutes out, the leading edge of that. So it'll move across the border within about the next 10 to 15 minutes. Then eventually toward Waldron, Arkansas, 29 minutes out. So some strong thunderstorms continuing across parts of East Central Oklahoma here this morning.